So today's video is going to be some book recommendations on some pretty handsome car movies, so let's just get straight into it. So you can see the first book we have. So Jodie, this is just such quite an easy read, like, and also it's the most conflicting book I've ever read, like, you don't know whether to laugh or whether to cry, because... Some bits you just want to cry, and some bits just make me actually crease. Like. Literally, the end is so sad, but there's always moments where you like want to crease with laughter. So that's. It's about two sisters, Jodie and Paul. Paul is younger, smaller, and shy and anxious. Jodie's nearly three years older than her, bold and bash, brash and bad. Bell adores her, obviously. Parents get new jobs at Malchester College. The girls are suddenly thrust into a new life. In their new home, things seem really different. Jodie's always been the leader, but now Pearl's. The one who's fitting in making friends, Jodie doesn't fit in with. Soon to teenagers. Her class and just seems to be getting into more and more trouble. Bell sort of wonders maybe she doesn't need Jodie as much as she used to, but Jodie needs her. And when the school fireworks night comes around and a tragic event occurs, Pearl realises how much she does need. And I will read the page of when it all happens. So. Just trying to find a page. There was an eerie light inside the tower room, spotlighting a figure standing inside. Right up on the window ledge, a strange ghostly figure in a long white dress and a shawl draped over her head. Is the sad, white, whispering woman, Dan shrieked. It's a ghost, it's a ghost, it's a ghost. Everyone was peering up and pointing. And the little children were all crying. Even some of the seniors were screaming. Harriet nearly snapped my arm in two. It really is a ghost, she whispered. It went up, but no one looked. As the new stars exploded, everyone stared, transfixed, at the tower window. I stared too, seeing my sister Jodie making them all believe in ghosts. Dan was screaming hysterically, It's okay, Dan. Truly. It's not really a ghost, I whispered. But he pulled away from me, scared senselessly. It's the ghost woman. She's coming to get me, he yelled, threw himself on the ground. I saw Jodie banging on the window, shouting something, but of course we couldn't hear her. She struggled with the catch, hitting it with her hand until it opened. Another rocket soared, donating Jodie with a, its green, ghostly light. It's only me, Dan, she yelled. Look, it's silly old Jodie. I'm sure that's what she said. She hung right out of the window, tangled at, tugged at her short to show her purple hair. She tugged too violently, she jerked forward, she wobbled in her crazy red shoes, and then she fell. She fell all the way to the ground, the shore, blowing out behind her, the white lace dress floating, one shoe falling off. Her mouth was open. I heard her scream high above all the others she fell onto the lawn with 
terrible thud. Head flung back, arms and legs spread open while another rocket showed, showed the sky with blurred sparkles. So that's basically what happened. So it's just a nice easy read. I just read it when I want, like a really easy read. And that's one to recommend. This one's also a very easy read, like it's really quite a short book. And it's just about when Lottie goes on a school trip, she decides to finally stand up to the class bully, so the class bully is called Zara. But without her magic dog Sophia to help her, Lottie's not sure she could. She has a friend called Ruby and And then there's all of Zara's group of friends. Amy, Lily, Bethany, and I'm not quite sure who else. Like, it is hard to remember off the top of your head. So, though it is just a nice, easy book to read, and it's just nice to like. Quite a quick read, so it's only like let me have a look, 154 pages, but there's like loads of other books. It's in a series called Animal Magic, but there's cat magic, dog magic, hamster magic, rabbit magic, bird magic, pony magic, as well as mouse magic. Maybe one day I'll get some more in this series, but it is quite a good book to read. When you just want something really easy to read, because um, I'm spilling crammed with juice everywhere. Another book I'd recommend if you really want to read something. And nice to read. Like, if you want to read a biography, this one I'd recommend. Judy Dench, and furthermore, this is about Judy Dench, who was Shakespeare actress, to being in James Bond films, and the popular sitcom, like, As Time Goes By. This is such a good biography, I just love that she talks about from her really early years to like where she is like now pretty much. So she just kind of talks about her life. It is kind of self-explanatory, kind of not, but it's just a nice book to read. And if you want to find out more about her... So, if you want to like find a bit more about birds, but you don't want anything too complex, I'm having a little trouble in it picking up these books. I would recommend this one. Like this one, I read in like the first lockdown. Like I just sat and read it. Just a nice book. And it gives you information about birds. These are like the labels. Give you like, and then identifications of birds. Really goes in on how to identify birds. So I'm Thought I'd throw that out there. Birds and weather, bird migration, birds in terms of their habitats. And sort of just goes into like different birds, like 
It's all kinds. It's British birds, so. If you want, like, a more wide variety of birds, that's more like all of the birds in Europe, all of the birds in Britain, then you're going to want this one. Is This one is actually really cool because it's got so many birds. It is very heavy, like it's this thick. So if you want something like this, this is definitely a good book. It does take a lot of concentration. I read it. Like, a lot of these I've, like, read in the first lockdown. A lot of these bird books. But it was, like, a nice to read because it's, like, you had... I had so much time to do lots of readings. So I, like, read this big, fat, chunky book. So... So it's like the second edition of Collins's Bird Guide. So it is a nice book, like it's just pretty self-explanatory. Another book if you want to read like something quite big. If you're interested in Nazi Germany, The Book Thief. This is very chunky, very big, took a long time to read. It's about like Nazi Germany from like the start of the war and being evacuated to like later on in the war, so. And how the book thief steals books and it's a good book, though it's not going to be to everyone's taste. Not because I'm not recommending it, just it's not going to be to everyone's taste. Like, you need to be interested in, like, Nazi Germany. Also, it is a very hard book to, like, grasp. Like, that's how much there is on a page in terms of writing, so it's very hard to grasp. And I'm sitting on my foot, so... Should probably move. So it's very long. So if you're into a long book and you like reading stuff that's quite long and complicated, then this is for you as well. If you want something that's a little bit, <sighs> this one I kind of bought as like a comedic read in a way. Like it's just a funny book. It's about like two sisters that couldn't be more different. Like there again, that is true. Sisters can be different. Then sort of you find out sort of what they're like, how different they are, and they end up sharing a room. And then by the end, I think they just kind of get on. Kind of in a way, it's about two sisters like my sister Jodie up there. So, if you re read this and then I'd read my sister Jodie, I recommend because this one's kind of it's a bit more of a watered down version in a way of my sister Jodie. In fact, it's the same kind of thing, just the sisters don't die basically. So, I'd recommend that. This next one, if you've watched the film of The Secret Garden, you will like this book a lot. Like, this is the film companion of the book, and The Secret Garden is like a nice, easy classic to read. Like, if you want to read a classic, but you don't want to read a really hard classic, like, some of the ones on my shelf are quite hard, but this one's just a nice, easy, chilled classic read. You want to start reading more classics, this is like a good one to start with, I'd say, because it kind of gets you into the swing of classics and it's not too hard. So, the next book I'd recommend if you. These are going to be Christmassy ones, so I appreciate Christmas books are not for everyone. I only read them like once a year. I'd recommend is The Christmas Guest if you're looking for some Christmassy. 
heartwarming tale of a homeless puppy with a huge heart who healed a family. So, such a nice book. It's why I like it. It's literally just such a beautiful book. I couldn't recommend it highly. Like I did buy a couple of other Christmassy books which I'd also recommend. Like, Home for Christmas. This one's just like a nice book. Something quite long and something quite complicated and a very long book. So what, someone who's happy finds a dream job in a charming independent cinema by the seaside and has a gorgeous boyfriend. There's one problem, no man's told her that loves her and she's desperate to hear those critical three words. All she wants for Christmas is three little words and those three little words are I love you, I'm pretty sure. So, this is kind of a love story. Like, if you want, like, a lover's Christmas story, then I'd go for it. I do like what. Next is A Wonderful Life. I do, like, this is literally... Has everything she wants the kids the house the career the husband so come she can't stop thinking about her college boyfriend her sister's been dumped her sister's jealous of her sibling's success but is the grass really greener it's quite a nice novel to read i'd say it does suck you in like they both do like they're both equally amazing books so i just kind of picked them up and gave them a read and thought i'd try them and they are good so and i'm gonna Bring you a bit closer to the bookshelf, like, so that you can, like, see the bookshelf a bit better. Like, I would recommend all the volume one and all of volume two of Holly Webb, because it's, they're such nice books to read. Like, they're also quite easy to read as well, so they're not really terribly hard to read. So, so, like, so I'd recommend the, just moving my cup, this is just Hollywood kitten puppy stories, I'd recommend them because they're all nice stories, so I'm just gonna around so you can see so and they're just some nice books and so I'd recommend the Magic Molly because they're nice as well to read you want something about like yes I'd say is World War like First World War kind of Second World War Skylark's War it's like Costa Book Awards 2018 so quite a nice book to read it's about a brother and a sister they stay with their parents in Cornwall their grandparents in Cornwall and they run free with their cousin called Rupert normal life comes to the end when terrible war looms and Rupert goes off to fight on the front lines and they feel like their summer's kind of slipping away. Like, can they survive the war? Like, this is quite a good book. I've not read it in a long time, so it's quite a nice book. 
another one I'd read. Which I also haven't read for a, quite a while. I think I've read this in lockdown, and that's The House at Pooh Corner. Just if you've heard of Winnie the Pooh, you'll probably like it, and you like Winnie the Pooh, you'd like it. So, it's just an all-round nice book to read. So... Another one I'd recommend if you're like really interested in Dickens and this is such an awkward angle but I am trying to get Dickens down to show me a book that if you're really interested in like knowing stuff about Dickens and my eye is still running like literally interested in is Artful Dickens because this gives a lot of Dickens information. Like so much information. So this is a good book. Like I do love the book. Like I've read it and I enjoyed it. So those are like all my book recommendations for you. Like obviously there's other books I've read but these are the ones I would recommend the most. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye.